Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be looking at should we add oxygen to our planted aquariums? There's many ways we can do this. We can raise the lily pipes, such as uh, we see ADA doing Aqua Design Amano in their galleries. They raise the lily pipes during the night. Um, other people, they add um, air pumps during the night, uh, like an air stone or something similar and this is used to raise the oxygen levels. Um, so why, why, we, why do we need to add oxygen? That's why I was asking myself. I knew that we probably should be adding oxygen um, during the night in a planted aquarium, um, but you might ask, why do we need to? What are the benefits? Well, there is many, many benefits, but first of all, I think we need to look at why, how the plants actually work and how photosynthesis works. Um, so during the day, as you probably know, plants intake CO2 and hence the carbon dioxide, hence the reason we add CO2. Um, but we also know that plants, uh, they exhale oxygen, so they expel the oxygen and this is the phenomenon that we see um, in the photosynthesis where we, under the water, we can see little bubbles, little perling appearing on the plants. Um, so this is really important because at night, plants do the exact opposite almost. They, um, they exhale the, the carbon dioxide, they, they release the CO2, and they inhale um, or they intake um, the oxygen. And a lot of other plant things in our planted aquarium also use oxygen, especially at nighttime, such as the bacteria and the livestock. So oxygen levels deplete during the night, or, or at least they are used more at nighttime. So if we go back to why we should be adding it and the benefits of why we should be adding oxygen at night especially um, is you know the, the livestock will benefit from the added oxygen and um, also the bacteria the bacteria colony and um, to actually uh, you know uh, to take in the waste and, and transfer that into nutrients and uh, to keep your tank uh, fairly clean needs that oxygen um, to work so that's a huge benefit to our back biological balance in our tank is adding oxygen at night um, also, we've talked about the plants, um, they actually intake oxygen at the night time. So it could be, could be uh, said that plants actually benefit or would become healthier if you add oxygen during the night. As an extra bonus tip as well, you might not know, but if you're adding oxygen bubbles or using an air pump or air stone or air diffuser, there actually might be some benefit to reducing the oil film that kind of like oil slick, some people call it CO2 film on the, the surface of the aquarium and water. That, that is actually removed because it's not technically removed, but it's uh, dissipated in a way that when the bubbles reach the top, they splash and create some surface agitation. And by doing so, um, the surface film breaks up and the next day your surface water will be clear. So that's a really big benefit for me, especially. Um, you don't actually really need to be using a skimmer if you're doing so, although of course it helps. Um, you might ask, well, why don't we add oxygen or an air pump or raise the lily pipes during the day? And that's because in a planted aquarium, we like to add CO2 and it would be really counterintuitive to be adding loads of oxygen and lots of surface agitation, although, very st although it's still important, and you still need this surface agitation for the good gaseous exchange, you might not want to be adding, um, you know, raising your lily pipes or adding an air stone during the day because we want the CO2 levels to be high and stable. Um, so you still want that uh, good surface agitation, um, good flow, but we don't want to be breaking the surface water too much because we want the CO2 levels to be high during the day. Another um, benefit is, remember we were adding CO2 in a planted aquarium and CO2 levels are quite high, very high in fact, and when we turn the lights off, the CO2 remains quite high. So plants aren't intaking the CO2 during the night when the lights are off and the CO2 remains high, which means your livestock might actually suffer or the bacteria might suffer because there's less oxygen. So by adding the air pump or raising your lily pipes by adding oxygen, you will dissipate, you will remove gas off the CO2 at night as soon as the lights turn off. And this has a huge benefit. So I, I would say that's, that's one of the bigger benefits to it is gassing off that extra CO2 once the light switch off. In addition to that, um, let's take one step back and say that um, in the day when we're adding CO2, our pH drops. 
and when we are uh, at night time and there's more oxygen, more oxygen in the tank, the pH rises. So knowing that piece of information, it might be good practice to turn your CO2 off one hour before your, uh, your lights turn off so that the pH uh, increase as uh, CO2 gets removed from the water and oxygen gets added to the water, um, the pH will rise slow, slower. And um, then when the lights turn off, you, add, you turn on your, your, uh, your oxygen, the pH will then start to rise qu uh, quite quickly in fact. So you could um, break that up, you know, your lights, your CO2 and your oxygen up a bit um, in order to s slow that transition between your low pH and your high pH due to the CO2 and the uh, adding oxygen, the gassing off of the CO2. Um, but it is important to note that it's a, it might not be a, um, a very well-known fact that your livestock won't actually be affected by these swings in pH due to CO2 unless it's out with your livestock's requirements. Say your livestock and um, their maximum requirement is a pH of like, I don't know, uh, um, what would you call it, like six say, and below six that's dangerous for this type of fish, this species. Although this, is, this should never be really a problem. Um, if obviously your, your, your pH swings without, without six, below six, when your, when your CO2 turns off, then that might be an issue for your, your fish. But generally, um, pH swings due to CO2 are not an issue for livestock. Although saying that, pH swings due to KH fluctuations are. So KH, when the KH fluctuates, um, you will notice the pH fluctuates with it. And this can possibly be dangerous to livestock. So going back, the pH fluctuations due to CO2 generally are not an issue, pH fluctuations due to KH are an issue. That's a bit of a sidetrack, I know it's a bit complicated but I thought I'd throw that in there. Let's just take a quick look at what I'm running for my air. So we can see here we've got some sort of system running. We've got a Hyger um, air pump, they've sent me uh, this um, recently and I'm quite impressed by the small kind of size of it. It comes supplied with a airline tubing and it comes supplied with a normally uh, air stone but I've actually added an Aqua Rio diffuser here. And the Aqua Rio comes with the suction cup. It comes with the, obviously this is the part of the Aqua Rio diffuser. It's an acrylic tube. It comes with this acrylic U-bend uh, here. I've made my own splash guard from acrylic. So that doesn't come with any of this, but um, I thought it was quite helpful to stop the splashing of the diffuser. And um, I, yeah, I'm really, really impressed with the Hyger actually. It's really small and neat and it comes supplied with a little suction cup that sucks onto the back of the tank. I think there's a bracket as well that comes with it, but I've chosen to use the little suction cup. And from the front, you can't even see it really, um, because it's behind the white film that I use. So, really cool product. I'll, uh, link, uh, and I'll put a link in the description in case you want to pick one up and run a similar system to this. And obviously Aqua Rio is sold at many of the UK stores or a store near you that supplies Aquarius products. So just to sum up the whole video, we are adding oxygen at night because the, um, it helps plant growth and plants actually intake oxygen at night. Um, it helps uh, the livestock because obviously livestock um, breathes oxygen. Um, and we are helping the bacteria growth by adding oxygen because the bacteria requires oxygen. Um, and also as a bonus, obviously the surface film is removed. Um, so there are so many benefits to adding air at night, hence the reason uh, companies like ADA, Aqua Design and Mano raise their lily pipes. Me personally, um, raising my lily pipes um, every day at night time is kind of inconvenient um, so, and it makes a lot of noise as well. So I personally prefer to use an air pump on a timer. I've got a smart plug as you might have seen in my previous videos. Um, I talked about uh, how I use a smart plug for certain things and I've got my air pump on a smart pump so it helps me to kind of time things, without, automate things without even thinking about it. So you consider if this is a, um, a thing you want to add to your aquarium, it can only help. Um, adding air um, at night time can be a huge benefit to some tanks. Um, so I've, I've, I'll end the video there, but thank you for watching. I hope you found something helpful in this video and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.